I dress according to um, my mood. But my mood goes from A to Z. So it could be clean, Dior, to Rick Owen, to uh, Kenzo. There are days where I need to be dark, and then there are other days where I want all color blocking. I want pinks and purples and greens, and you know, it's just, it's a mood. I did this PR workshop, and that's how I was introduced to PR. I've worked with everyone from Prince to D'Angelo to Outkast. And I think this, this generation of artists aren't so afraid to stand out. I'm a person that I just get excited and moved by images. One current film that did that for me was A Single Man. I mean, there was that one thing in the look of that film that was not appealing to the eye. Jamaicans on a whole, their locks were, um, uh, you know, for them it, it, it was a sign of strength. To me, it feels like me. I wear it up and I wear it down and I wear it back and it just depends on the mood. Everything is never always crisp. So something has to be a little bit off. Even though I never think about what I'm gonna look like, I'm also very appropriate. So if I'm hanging and in my own time, this is me. And so this is like a Themster jumper and my favorite like Rick Owen booth. If I had to say a designer that I think just fits me and I love everything he does, Dries. I um, happen to be wearing all Dries. My birthday recently passed and this is what I wore. Tom Ford YSL, so it's a vintage piece, and some Louis Vuitton sandals. We did black tie, but you know, of course, I had to, you know, I had like the gold chains around the bow tie and really funked it up. Like, it, it's, it comes with its natural cycles, and part of those cycles are always gonna be roadblocks. I came to a, a realization just one day in life that, you know what, I've weathered 10 storms before and I'll be weathering another 100 throughout my life. If we didn't have images that kind of started a little dialogue or made you think twice, then what's, what's the point?